guys apparently the consequences of being a thug is to become Todio. If you don't know Todio, then I don't know. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Sean Mutabe, and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, just know that you are welcome. Pretty car, good job, bra, all at the one my sister, and be comfortable. And if you are a returning subscriber and this is your vibe, period. <laughs> then you know that i appreciate you so much now you guys before we get into it disclaimer now, i am filming at night it's literally past the 12 a.m right now and because i can't make on um the fan or the cooler i opened a window and they they are like all kinds of flies that are coming in so if you are not comfortable watching a video like that please just click off because i know there will be like butterflies and all kinds of flies coming in and out of the room so and unfortunately there's nothing i can do about it but anyway you guys today we will be talking about the one and only shebeshe do you know that everyone almost everyone loves the shebeshe you guys except for the people that he hurt a lot i mean who can love someone who once stepped them or took um their phones without their consent things like that you guys so i don't believe that everyone loves him so most people definitely love shiva shit we have seen um through podcast and chill the views were so up you guys so it really proves that the influence is too much when, it's, when it comes to this guy but anyway you guys i made a video not so long ago about shiva shit last year i made a video where Shebeshet was talking about um his previous life, the life that he lived before. We know that he lived the life Yaritsoti, Akenakoluko, Atwarapo, you know, and he used to hurt a lot of people, you guys. There's a point where he even mentioned that um Batokopanalumhekulu you know an old older older person on the road and obviously they don't have to fight or anything they will just say hey refe tell it them with them there and they, he even mentioned that they they already knew for him on their bodies then they would just take it so this is not something that uh, we can just take for granted you know we know that it's still it's still happening till this day you guys so you guys so i am not gonna be talking about that today i'm just here to tell you guys that um when you are a thug when you are a thug the results of being a thug is being todio you won't have peace for the rest of your life at least that is my opinion so you guys Sharon she posted on his um instagram stories and said um they hired people to kill me pray for me you guys and obviously people came gushing go to the comment section and barry haibo why though why why must you pray um for someone who wants to live this life you know um i remember seeing a comment i will try to find the comment as well you guys i remember seeing a comment someone saying hi bo you used to live this life when i know you're the one who is scared you know i was also shocked seeing shabba shit um saying people um should pray for him and i also you guys i also saw a video that is currently trending of this prophet who prophesied the shabba shit publicly the prophets of this generation will just publicly do a video on tiktok and just prophesy you as a celebrity i still don't get that part like i still don't get um how is that really happening why are they only prophesying celebrities um god just doesn't just show you a random person that you have to talk to to, to talk to or your calling is only designed for um celebrities i don't understand at all but we are not talking about that i will leave the video here you guys also you can watch it yourself where the prophets claiming that Shemesh's life is in danger um he should only eat or drink food that is coming from his um i don't know if he married the woman but his baby mama he should only um he should only consume um food that comes from the baby mama if the food is not coming from the baby mama then he should definitely 
not um eat such and also claiming that there will be there will be a girl who gives the shepherd food or drink and if shepherd consume um the drink or whatever that the girl will be giving him the drink will be spiked and the girl will end up um accusing shepherd of uh, r you know rape i don't know if i should mention that yes you guys so yeah man let me just leave the video you guys so that you can watch it yourself as well Tozani, Kanya, Lisedi, Tamako, Tobel. Sandlap is with senior spawning syndrome, a pungent Vusella, or getting a bandabata local on him calling our Wonka Macum Now, I was taken to a place. Uh, this place is in the Val. It looks like Sweet Pops lifestyle. I don't know if Bakona Bandabaya is a Sweet Pops lifestyle in Bulugwan. It looks like Sweet Pops Lindau. So, we were in one of the sections, Nomkulu, but within that section, which I did not get at the time, we were creating a barrier, Nomkulu. The barrier we were creating, it was right in the middle of the Leondao, the sitting area. We were creating the barrier nearby, a language specifically. And then during the process, he is Nomkulu, as he is Ukatleho, Shebe, Ukatleho. Uma eza ezo tkulangapa. Agabe mashomane. Ngoba ugu wagu wake guzo ba intomba zane. Le intomba zane ezo mletela ispuzo. And that drink will be spiked. Uzo mletela, uzo mletela ugula. Ugula loko guzo be guti, gutelwe umu tinka parati. And this girl will say, u Shebe, wa mlwe mula. This is the message that I got from Umkul. So she be ngiya cela nganya kwethu. Uma uhamba uye performa eval. Ngoqala. Ngicela udle ukudla okuphuma esandleni so mama engane I believe ukuthi uhamba nayo la uhamba khona. I think so. Nento zoyiphuza anything that you drink ayiphume kuye ingaphumi kwomunye umuntu. Ngoba abantu abafuna ukulimaza is the people within the industry. Yakela Gangana wait. Gang calling Tony Pong, Yakoni, Yakoni Pafooting at Tandem in a fetu twerker when a shit. Ah, Yakela in Fesu. Get in a little bit of a man, Kesalam. When you're going to perform in the val, I don't know when you're going to come perform in the val. Go to again, Mazo Bees, and that place looks exactly not this, not exactly, but seventy per cent of the place looks like uh, sweet pops. Anyway, you guys, you have watched it yourself, and a lot of people were just like, Hi, Poena, Uska Tomagam Betuaha, who the social media are prophets, they are so annoying, you know, things like that. The video received. A lot of backlash especially because people were just like hey but why are you not i'm um, sending the video to shepherd or just tell him yourself tell him he's got like instagram probably um tiktok why don't you just inbox him or something you know because this prophet's really personally for me also guys i don't believe in this social media prophets i don't at all so i like i don't i'm just like I'm, I'm always like confused with these videos like why are you making videos are you trying to get famous or something so i don't believe in them at all as the reason why i did this video i was just like hey bo honestly speaking what is shemeshit expecting you were so proud to tell your story go make g you guys you could tell that this person is um proud to tell his story yes it's his story he must own it but then i'm just like hey bo as I've said, you guys, there is a point where he was just like, I have a bag full of um phones. Come, you guys, come to take them. As if it's something that is as if it's something to do, to joke about it's not like you just came to sharon and be like give me a phone you know you took that phone without um another person's consent and i'm sure with those hundreds and hundreds of phones in your bag there's a lot of tears a lot of pain and also 
I'm sure there are people well who are they are very stubborn and you will probably like step them or or beat them up. So there's nothing really to joke about when it comes to these things. And look at you guys, all the older older people, older older people, your grannies, your great grandmothers, like what the hell do you mean? Obviously, Honestly speaking, I don't feel sorry for him. I'm so sorry. I don't like at all. And the reason why I don't is just because um i don't feel like he's a changed tank man the fact that he's been lashing out on his fans and beating them up it says a lot about him honestly speaking it says a lot okay so i'm just like uh -uh, he deserves it hey he does and i just pray that he doesn't get um killed as these people have, uh, were hired as he says like people were hired to like kill him i just don't wish that for him but i just wish um, he learns a lesson, man. I just wish he learns a lesson. He's a bit so dear, you guys. As a bit of peace, rare, so poco ser rare. Oh, ah, so rare. What the over the peace, yana. I tell you, Lisil, Arkemo, Lisil, again, Arkemo. No, man, I, I just feel like people have to see who there are consequences, okay? I don't feel like jail is enough because there's a point where he mentioned who and you know, he was taken care of, man. So, honestly, do you think he really experienced something bad with jail when he is the probably the boss? Coco selling, you know. So yeah, man. Um, that is what I wanted to say in this video, you guys. It's so crazy. It is really, really crazy. The fact that um he says there were there are people out there who were hired to like finish him. It's crazy to me. And with the prophet who made the video, he says that is the people from the what is that you guys it's people from bamo industry and so i don't know um if she was shady what's the who who who's who are these people who are hired to finish him off i just um i'm just wondering man do you really think or what my industry but when you can't win no sometimes i honestly for me i don't think what my industry you guys what i'm gonna jealous no because people the clubs are booking one person you know they don't book one celebrity they book a lot of celebrities that's why i no holy slot is some man some man so i don't think really i don't think so hey but yeah man i just hope he changes with the when i the the time i got in chang about the the person i don't know i don't know she led that life in the past then i would understand for now since he is still like slapping people for no reason no man i don't think he is a changed person so yeah um but i just pray that he does not get hurt and uh, he does not get killed as he says people out here are hired to like finish him off he really don't deserve it people do deserve um second chances in life and i do believe that if he's still here if he's still waking up every morning and breathe obviously god has something bigger um that he has to like do you know i still believe that if anybody in this world is still waking up every morning then obviously there is something bigger that he still have um to do in this world and that is why god is keeping them horrible more you know and the fact that he's got like a lot of influence he can literally change the world if he become the change man that he claim he, he is now if he becomes that man for real for real just imagine how much um how many people he can change how many lives he can turn around and change for good even you guys this time so i just believe that um he still got this man and god is still gonna protect him he is not going anywhere that i believe he is not going anywhere because if god are here oh are you fellow who are you really with your guns and everything who are you remember that man who was who got shot at that man who owns max club is it called max club or max lifestyle i remember but when we should do it not the iphone so you guys then they shot more iphone they shot at the iphone and the the bullet did not get did not penetrate the the iphone so these are the things that shows what if god says yeah hey, i can yaki come on no work at this time there is no one I can do at all, at all. But anyway, you guys, um, that is all for today. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Shabashir is a changed man or 
or do you think really there are people out here who who are trying to finish him off do you think there are people out there who want to like kill him or maybe this is a public um publicity stand i saw in the comment section some people were saying oh my goodness again another publicity stand he just want to trend but i don't believe that is because of that you guys she uh -uh. has has his own people he don't really have to do all these things he just want to trend or whatever but anyway you guys see you on my next one bye